So I'm standing here in uh, Warren Dune State Park in Michigan, looking across Lake Michigan towards the Chicago skyline. And I'm going to be doing an analysis on the Chicago skyline photograph from Warren Dune State Park. I chose this area because there are, uh, there are two NGS survey stations here that give latitude and longitude allowing us to calculate distances to the Sears Tower from this point. And they also have uh, established elevations for us, precise elevations that we need to uh, uh, do these uh, calculations with to determine what kind of angles we should be turning uh, to the different points on the horizon and to the top of the Sears Tower. So I'm standing on survey station Con and that is uh, PID ME3329, and it is an elevation 588 feet. At the top of the tower hill behind us is survey station Bald Tom. It's PID ME2404, and it is an elevation of 821 feet. So my plan for today is to hike to the top of that uh, hill, Bald Tom or Tower Hill, and uh, set up the, the autolite at that point and turn an angle to the Sears Tower, weather permitting, if visibility is permitting, I will do that. And uh, otherwise, uh, I'm going to try it anyway because I drove all the way to this point and I want to uh, collect as much data as I can for this experiment. So. The first thing I want to say, this is going to establish pretty much the whole experiment, is that when I checked in at the concession stand with the, the girl, that uh, I asked her, can you see Chicago from here? And her statement was that you can see Sears Tower from the top of Tower Hill, but you cannot see Chicago from uh, this point or this low elevation on uh, at this part, anyway. So, I will, uh, from this point, I'll proceed to the, the top of Tower Hill. I'm gonna take the theodolite up there and uh, we'll uh, see what kind of data we collect. So from this general location at elevation 771 on top of Tower Hill, I've taken uh, multiple readings to the horizon with, uh, with the theodolite. I uh, don't see on the horizon the Sears Tower in any of those uh, uh, locations in the general direction of Chicago. Uh, it's not exactly what we would call a clear day today. The horizon is very difficult to distinguish, but I do have uh, a whole set of readings facing from this point over the top of, uh, of the center concession that are a uh, negative angle of uh, generally 13 to 14 minutes. And uh, the same uh, general set of readings when I uh, am turning 40 degrees to the left of the center tower. I'm getting a, a similar set of readings uh, down to the horizon, which we'll, uh, we'll take a look at those when we get back to the office and uh, see, see what those locations and those angles have to tell us. This is elevation 768 feet above sea level. 
according to the Sunto altimeter. So according to my altimeter, this is elevation 646 with an accuracy plus or minus three feet. We're looking over the center concession stand at Warren Dunes towards the horizon in the general direction of uh, the city of Chicago. Okay, I'm back down at uh, NGS Survey Station Con with known elevation. I have uh, set up with an elevation height of 4.9 feet and shot a uh, site forward to the water level of Lake Michigan, which is a uh, height of 11.7 feet which means that the uh, water level here is 6.8 feet below survey station con for the calculations that's important. I've turned uh, two sets of angles. One is on uh, magnetic uh, azimuth 268 towards where the Sears Tower should be from this location. Um, those angles have been negative uh, five minutes, more or less. And then I've turned another set of angles 90 degrees to the left of here on an azimuth of, uh, of uh, well, roughly, roughly 180. And those angles also come up approximately five minutes. So those, it's very consistent. And then with the 30 power telescope, with the 30 power theodolite, I have uh, swept the horizon looking for any signs of any buildings uh, between those two azimuths and uh, there are no buildings on the horizon uh, anywhere along there. So I brought another telescope with me. It's a Barska telescope with a much higher uh, magnification than this one. So I'm going to go uh, have a look with that telescope and see what, what that tells me. And then I'm going to uh, also be panning uh, the horizon one more time today, just about now.
so I have searched the horizon with the Barska telescope with the 20 millimeter lens and in the general direction of the magnetic uh, bearing 268 and uh, in that vicinity and I find no uh, evidence of being able to be uh, able to see the, uh, the Sears Tower out in that direction. But I do have anecdotal information from uh, some nice people who, who stopped by and were telling me that uh, in the last month, from a town about 10 miles north of here, St. Joe, that uh, they've seen from the water level, they've seen the Sears Tower three times. In, uh, in about three months, I believe that's the way that it is. So, uh, anecdotal e evidence is, uh, it does exist, and it uh, seems to be conflicting with different people. And uh, I would like to be able to stay here until I could definitely see what's going, but I, I have one day uh, to be here. So I will attempt to stay until uh, 7 or 8 tonight. They say that the best time to see that kind of, uh, of uh, visibility is uh, just before sunset. So that's what I'm going to try to do.